What's going on, there, friends? My name is MJ Gates, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 3DS. We're off up last time, we got through the Ice Cavern, and now in this part, we are going to head to our next dungeon. And, um, in the last part, we learned a new song. And I haven't shown the song off because we weren't in the general area that we, that, that we would learn the song. So we're going to go ahead and head over there. So this song, this is called the, uh, Serenade of Water, and this song will take us to Lake Hylia. Um, so, here we are, and, uh, then all we have to do, if I could find it, right there, just kind of go and look for a puddle, uh, for a body of water, and then just sink down, and then we are going to go ahead and sink all the way down, Once again, and, uh, you do need the iron boots in order to, um, enter this place, so if you haven't been to the ice cavern yet, well, you should probably do that. You can actually do the ice cavern, like, first thing when you get, when you become an adult, um, so this is actually one of the- so if you feel like doing things as early as you can, uh, then the ice cavern is one of those things that you- is one of those options. Alright, but welcome to the water temple. Now, um, if you thought that the water temple in- in the normal mode of this game is crazy, oh man, take a look at this version of water temple. That is all I have to say. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go somewhere, if I can find it. I think I have to go this way? Uh, let's go this way first and see what we got going on here. I believe this is the correct way. I, 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 oh, oh, hey. Hello. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, hi, Ruto. I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. Oh man, why haven't you left me then? If I was, if I didn't show up for seven years, I can't believe Ruto is so committed to this. Yeah, Zora's domain totally frozen. Sheik saved you. Why do you say a man named Sheik? Isn't Sheik? Never mind. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet. Oh, well, your father's fine. I'll, I'll let you know that. I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's domain. You have to help me! This is a request from me, the woman who is going to be your wife! Oh, okay. Well, we got to help our wife out. Because that is what good husbands will do. So we have to defeat the monster that is lurking inside the water zone. There are three places that we can change the world. Okay. Alright, so she says she'll lead the way. So she's going to ascend up. Okay, so keep that in mind in like 10 seconds. So as soon as we ascend upwards, all the way up to the top. Here we are. There's a locked door over here. But, where did she go? I don't understand. Where could she have went? She just disappears. It's like Angel Beats. Everybody disappears in Angel Beats. So, what just happened? Anyway. Um, anytime you see one of these Triforce panels, these will adjust the water level. Now, you can actually tell... Uh, this is actually something I actually just noticed when I was practicing this, but there's actually one of these one of these things right here that actually indicate what water level the temple is going to be at if you use uh, Zelda's lullaby here. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I believe the I believe in the uh, original N64 version it does not do that. Okay, so if you want to know how to go inside this door, you want to play Dense Fire. However, I'm not going inside that door. That door is a trap. I will let you know right now. It's not worth it. Alright, um, meanwhile, this door here is... It's kind of a trap, but, um, the reward you get for coming, for coming into this room is, uh, more worth it than, um, going into the other door that I refuse to go into. So what you want to do is you want to angle yourself up uh, with um, the torch here, so we could light up these torches with arrows, and then you can go inside this door. Uh, you can also use Din's fire if you don't feel like doing that, but that takes up a lot of magic, and I want to conserve my magic here. 
Alright, so new enemy. These enemies are called spikes. That is literally what they're called. Um so all you have to do is just block their block uh, block them coming at you. And then um uh and then you can hit them while they're in their rock form. You obviously you cannot hit them while they are all while they are into a spiky ball. Alright, and then also we have Lizalfos, um, and then you do have to defeat those enemies in order to... Actually, I don't think you have to, you have to defeat those enemies, but, but, they're, but, you do, but I just defeated them to get them out of my way. But you want to... The main gimmick in this dungeon this time is to hit one of these panels over here. And then something will happen. It will, it will not indicate it, you just have to find out. In this case, these hookshot panels uh, show up. And, uh, and then now they are here, here, here in this room. Um, so, you want to go ahead and do this. This is something that's, like, really easy to, to, to not check. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up here and then head over here. This will give you enough distance so you can get, get up here, over here to the second floor. Then you want to go ahead and hookshot this. And then we have a big chest over here. Uh, the ch you may notice I skipped I skipped over a big chest. That one contained a compass. I'm not gonna pick it up. But instead, what we have over here, we get the long shot. The item of the dungeon right away in the beginning of the dungeon. I yeah, you get this dungeon a lot. You get this item a lot later. But um, you get it really early this time. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Um, so now, we, we're gonna go ahead and go over here, next, and now with the long shot, you can make, you can go, you can get across distances that the regular hook shot wouldn't be able to, uh, to make. Uh, so it's actually, it's pretty useful. It's also useful for getting some gold skulls later on. Because there are some gold skulls uh, scattered throughout the overworld that your hookshot just can't reach. And so with the long shot, you'll be able to make those distances. Which is really cool. Alright, um, there's also a higher up over, uh, floor up there, but uh, that's not useful right now. So we're just going to worry about that later. Okay, what else can we do now? I'm gonna go ahead and go around here in the second floor. No, um, normally, what you do in the regular, ver in, in normal mode of the water temple, is you would have to worry about one floor at a time. So you would start with start with all the rooms in the bottom floor, and then all the rooms in the middle floor, and then all the rooms in the top floor, and then eventually you'll ev eventually you'll get to where you need to go in the water temple. This time it's a little bit. You have to go. It's it's a little bit more complicated than that. Alright, so if you hear that, there is a gold Skulltula behind there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, use Din's Fire here in order to... Um... In order to open up this gate. And there it is. Bye-bye! Alright, so let's see. Um, okay. Bye bye. Yeah, there's this Lizalfos in here as well. Oh, actually, what's over there? Yeah, every time you see one of those, you want to go. You want to make sure you hit those things with the hook shot. Okay, let's see what we got going on over here. Uh, I think I have to turn around. Oh, I'm. I'm okay, right here. Go and head up here. You heard that noise? That was um, the cable hitting my desk. And um, okay, so now we're out here on the other side of that room. All right, let's go ahead and head down this way to the um, back to the second floor and see what we got. Ah. Uh... Hmm. I think we go inside this room. I'm trying to remember. This is a very uh, complicated dungeon. A lot of people. This is uh, notoriously known as one of the most complicated dungeons in in the history of this game. And um, 
personally, I personally I don't dislike this dungeon as much as a lot of as much as a lot of people make make this dungeon out to be. Um. However, um, this part of oh, oh this this version of, of the water temple, it's pretty crazy. Alright, so you want to go ahead and head over there, grab, pick up a crate, because you'll notice that there's a blue switch over here. And you need this blue, and you want to hit this blue switch, that way you can go inside that door over there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and head over here, and let's see what we got. Um, okay. So I believe we go and hit, hit this, and this will give us something, okay, there's something right there. Oh, hi. Yeah, these guys are so easy with the uh, Goron Sword. Right, go ahead up this way. If you can hear that noise, then th yes, there is a Gold Skulltal in this room. Go ahead and take him out. And there we go. This will be our second out of the five Gold Skulltals. So, three more left to go. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and use Fora's win over here. And this is so I can save myself uh, backtracking later on. Normally, in the normal mode of the of Water Temple, you would actually use Fora's win at uh, near the beginning, beginning part of the dungeon. Uh, where you meet Ruto. And that's because you, you backtrack over to that room a lot. Uh, but because we actually don't go to the go there anymore in, in the dungeon, um, or at least now, um, setting a Fora's win over there isn't that useful. Okay, what is there to do now? Um, I think we should head down over here. I think I think we need to go back down this place and head back inside this door. So now we're inside this room. And you're gonna notice we're pretty far into the dungeon now and we still haven't even, haven't even obtained our first key at all. Alright, so notice how in the corners here we have torches. Okay, that's a new one. And there's also a Song of Time block up there too. So we're going to play the Song of Time. And this will move the block over there so we can climb it. And I missed it somehow. That's great. Alright. Go ahead up here. Alright. Alright. And then once again, play Din's Fire. Or, not, or, use Din's Fire. I guess you're playing with Din's Fire. In a way. And then that will open up that down there. So I mentioned the first time that we got Din's Fire, uh, that, um... We used that that um, dense fire was used only one time in the regular mode. Yeah, yeah. In this in this in this ver in in Master Quest we use dense fire a lot more. Kinda. This mode does make some very clever uses of items that we don't use very much um, in the normal mode, and that's your kind and that you almost have to use them a bunch of times. It's actually really cool. Because, um, you know, items like Dint's Fire, it's it's very powerful, but it's just a shame that it's only required for one thing in the normal mode, but... Here, this time, you know, in, in Master Quest, it's used a lot more. And it's used in very clever ways, too. And I like that. Okay, go and hit this. And then a chest appears. And then we get... A key. Alright, there we go. It's our first key while we are 14 and a half minutes into the dungeon. Kinda crazy. Alright, um... So that's all we, 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 have, we have business for here in this part. So we're gonna go ahead and head on back out of this room. And yeah, we ascend upwards pretty slowly, but that's not a big deal. This dungeon is so much less of a hassle to go through 
in Ocarina of Time 3D because of this of this major quality of life change that they did with this dun uh, with the iron boots. Because it feels nice not having to extraneously pause every time you want to use the the hook shot or the the iron boots. Okay. Um. So with the small key that we got, we're gonna go ahead and use it here in this room. And let's see what we got. Okay, everybody probably probably knows this room. Uh, they change this room quite a bit. This time, what you have to do, you're gonna notice that there's not any of those moving platforms right here. Instead, we don't know what to do here. So we're gonna go ahead and head up here. Hit that crystal switch. You, yeah, that 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 goes to show like the power of the um, the long shot right there. It's, it go it goes so far. All right, so you want to go ahead and hit aim at this target. You, you can aim for the other targets, but um, this is the safest one because you're not very likely to grab onto the to to on top of these things. So by aiming for this one, you'll land right here, right where I'm at. And then um, you can hit this right here, and that will give that will give you rupees. But you want to go ahead and hit this one right over here, because as you can see, this one this one goes up. Okay, hopefully I make it. Yes, you can sometimes fall down, and it sucks. Okay, what do we got going on here? Um. Oh my God, we got Stalfos in this place. Oh jeez. Oh! Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Nope! Alright, bye-bye. Alright, that was... Somehow that was a lot easier than I was anticipating that. I actually died on, on, on against these guys on my practice file. Um... So thankfully we didn't die. Alright, so you can go to the next room, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and head up here. Um... It's because over here we have some nice little goodies. Uh, first off, let me go ahead and, uh... Nice! There's two fairies here. So that way... Man, Master Quest is really helping you out while at the same time trying to kill you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so, uh, let's see. I believe we go and head up here. Aim at this. And then we can head on to the next room. Alright. Alright, let's go. Oh, we're locked. Ooh. This room looks pretty nice. It's an open space full of water. Oh, but there's a locked door there. Alright, let's go back. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, hi! Hi there! You look just like me, do you? Well, you're sure putting up a fight. Oh man, I was sweating right there. Woo, I need to tell for that. All right, so that was Shadow Link. Anybody, anybody, everybody knows the uh, infamous Shadow Shadow Link fight from Zelda 2. Now makes a return here in this game. And uh, Shadow Link basically just copies whatever you do. Um, so it's supposed to be a hard fight, but if you have the Goron Sword, it's so easy. 